VidIQ. VidIQ. VidIQ.com. We are here today with Chad Wildclay. Your channel is, and how many subscribers do you have? It is also called Chad Wildclay. Makes it easy. Yeah. And right now, 2.8 million subscribers. Awesome. Congratulations on your channel. Thank you. And as a uh, YouTuber who's had much success, uh, you have uh, three pieces of advice you want to give to other YouTubers to help uh, start their channel or grow their channel. Yes, definitely. I'd say the number one thing and the newest thing right now is pay very close attention to your click-through rate. If you don't know what that is, that's when how many let's say you get 100 views on your thumbnail and let's say out of those 100 people who saw your thumbnail 10 click in you have a 10 percent click through rate youtube really determines how much they want to promote your video yeah. a big part of that is determined by your click through rate so make sure you're paying close attention in your analytics to a, a click through rate and keep testing different types of thumbnails and different strategies to see what you can do to get that click through rate higher yeah and the, the impressions are literally from how many times somebody sees a thumbnail and a title from your videos purely from those um, parts of the platform, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. So whether it's on uh, the YouTube's homepage or whether it's on the uh, recommended, you're watching another video and you see other videos being recommended, your thumbnail is getting an impression right there. So you want people clicking on it to get a high click-through rate. And uh, what would be tip number two? Tip number two, the next thing I do is I pay very close attention to my watch time both the percentage watched, but even more so, how many total minutes and seconds are being watched per video. So that does tend to make me want to favor creating longer form videos. So yeah. often my videos will be 12, 13, 14 minutes. If it ends up being 18 minutes, sometimes I'll be like, you know, I probably could trim this a little bit, but I'll sometimes keep it a little longer because it definitely does seem to me like YouTube does favor a watch time. For example, for me, if I get a video that the average watch duration is eight minutes long, that's really, really good for me. And I've definitely noticed a pattern where those videos that have over an eight minute average watch time, YouTube just promotes those like crazy. So combine a good click through rate with that watch time, and I know that video is gonna do great.